Hello everyone, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to fix this problem right here, and that is we can take out about 20 zombies right there with a single bullet. Now, I don't know if that's possible in real life, but that's not going to be happening in our game. The first thing we need to do is give our enemy some health. Let's go to our variables tab, and you'll see there's already a variable here. Let's go ahead and delete it since we won't be needing it. Let's make a variable and we'll call it zombie health. I'll set this to for this sprite only, so each clone will have their own health. Then let's press OK. So let me hide this zombie health variable. When we start as a clone, let's set the zombie health to 3. Then we want to keep on moving the zombie until we run out of lights. Let's move this code out of the repeat until loop and I'll just delete this. Let's drag in a forever loop instead, and let's put our code back in. Now, when do we delete our zombie? If we are touching the bullets, then let's change zombie health by minus one. Then, if the zombie health is less than 1, let's delete this clone. So you would think that this would work. Let's press the green flag and there goes the problem. Our bullet still can delete many zombies at once. And the reason this is happening is because our bullet is touching the zombie multiple times a second. To fix this problem, we need to delete the bullet after it touches the zombie. Let's go into our bullet sprite. The first thing we need to do is detect if we are touching the zombie. Then we need to wait 0 seconds and then delete this clone. What the 0 seconds will do is wait for the zombie to detect the bullet and then once the zombie detects the bullet, then we'll delete the bullet. So. Let's press the green flag. Now you'll see it takes three hits to destroy our zombies. There we go. Now the game is a lot more challenging. Next, you'll see that these zombies are spawning in a straight line. And unless they're lining up for something, we don't want them to do this. Let's go back to our zombie sprite. So this right here will make the zombie go to that position. Let's make a block called position position zombie and we will press OK. Let's make a new variable. We will call it spawn position spawn position if I could spell right for this sprite only and let's press OK. Let's set spawn position to pick random 1 to 4. So we have four choices on the screen. Let's drag out if then else and make sure our zombie our spawn position is equal to one. If spawn position equals to one. Let's go to x 240 and y zero. So that will be right here on the right side of the screen. Then if spawn position is equal to two Let's go to x minus 240 and y 0. So that will be on the left side of the screen. Then, if spawn position equals to 3, well, we want to go to the top side of the screen. I'll set the x to 0 and the y to 180. Then for the last position, that will be on the bottom of the screen. So we have our four positions here we first need to drag in the position zombie block. I'll delete the go to x block. So delete block. Then I will drag in position zombie. So you'll see now that our zombies are spawning from four different positions. We can make this a lot more random. Let's make this more random so they're not spawning from the center of each position. I'll go to operators and drag out a pick random block. 
I'll change this from minus 180 to 180 and I'll put this in these Y blocks right here. Then for the X position on the up and down positions of the screen, I'll change this to minus 240 and 240 and I'll put these in here. So now they should go to a random position on four sides of the screen. Great. Now, there is one little problem, and that is that the zombies cannot kill us. We're literally invincible. We need to make a game over screen. Let's make a new sprite. I'll call this game over. And I'll set the X to 0 and the Y to 0. For now, I'm just going to select a rectangle. I'll change the outline to zero and I'll change the fill to a reddish color. That's good. And I'll draw a huge rectangle on the screen. So now our screen is red right here. Let's click on the text tool and I'll select a black color and I'll type game over. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Game over. Okay, let's go back to our code. When the green flag is clicked, we want to hide so the game over screen doesn't show. When I receive message 1, I'll click the down arrow, make a new message, and I'll call this game over. So when we receive game over, let's show and go to front. So this will appear in front of everything. Now we only need to detect when the game is over. So let's go to our player. Let's drag out if we are touching the zombies, then broadcast game over. Then when I receive game over, we need to stop other scripts in this sprite. So that will make sure that we aren't shooting while we're dead or moving around. But if we go into our zombie sprite, You'll see this yellow outline around the code, that means it's still running. So the zombies keep on spawning even though we're dead. We need to stop the script. When I receive game over, stop all, and stop other scripts in this sprite. So that will make sure that this doesn't keep on running. And yep, you'll see that the yellow outline is gone when the game is over. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Be sure to stay tuned for the next one by liking and subscribing and turning on the notification bell. And if you're a member for our YouTube channel, you'll be able to get the free project files and assets and art. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.